I was not confident. I was not sure this was a good thing. I've had so far 41 people tell me, no, this isn't a good thing. You should quit. You should give up. So the last thing I felt was like, this is a great book and you should want to represent it. <laughs> Before someone becomes a best-selling novelist, they're a writer with a dream and a story. And in the case of T.J. Newman, who you just heard from, the Arizona bookstore staffer and flight attendant, the path to publishing was paved with rejection letters. Newman, just one of three debut novelists featured in this week's podcast, which is full of highlights of earlier episodes featuring authors whose books are now in paperback and ready for your summer road trip. From new names to the authors who dominate the bestseller list year after year. The writers all say the same thing. It comes down to characters and creating a real connection with the readers that makes fiction feel so real. Queens of this realm, Colleen Hoover and Kristen Hanna. I love the bad and the good in people. I love to study that and um, I try to put it into my characters. I think it makes them more real when they're not making perfect decisions all the time and saying the perfect things. I constantly say I am not going to make people cry in this book, and I try not to. <laughs> and then they cry anyway. Not cry, sob. <laughs> if you don't cry reading Kristen Hanna or Colleen Hoover, for that matter, uh, in most of the books, you probably don't have a good ticking heart, so you better go see that doctor. That's just a taste of the very fun all-star episode of Olivia's Book Club podcast for this week. So before you hit the road for the holiday weekend, subscribe to the podcast and let us help you pick your next book.